That's the first mm -hmm. thing anyone's going to hear watching my version of this. I'm Why are so you red? <laughs> no, no, it's good. Um, we're playing Quake because Monkey Ball didn't work, and now it would, but we're still playing Quake. And this is Horde well, mode, actually, too. At this point, I don't even know. Oh, wait. Yeah, Horde so mode? this is a this was added in a recent-ish update. And by recent, I mean, like, within the last year. Okay. Um, so it is, is an official watching. Horde mode. Uh, so for ease of oh. access, this is John's first Oops. time playing. I yeah. think I just um, killed myself. And I got killed by a dog. Uh, for ease of access, John, there is a weapon wheel if you hold down Q. I'm dead. So that, that's added. That's great. You're the only one alive, Liam. But you're like pretty good at okay, this, right? Did it. Okay. We're gaming. I fucking love this game, so yeah. So I, I mean, I'd say I'd say I, I, I'd be okay at it. Yeah, this is this is one of my favorite first-person shooters. I, 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 would I love think to... I'm the only person in my friend group who has not played Quake. This is a terrible first impression. For the yeah, I don't not know. the best first impression, but it's... maybe we'll do deathmatch after this. For yeah, a couple yeah. Of I matches. mean, like, this can help at least get the grips with the gameplay before people start shooting at you. Like, actual players. It's it's just Doom, but there's, like, Lovecraft in it. Don't ask what his cat's Nine Inch Nails is. soundtrack. Oh, so this well, is well, just basically, like, so this is your standard horde mode. You're like, you just yeah, endless rush of enemies and you just... Yeah, and shoot your friends by accident. That's yeah. always... Oh, I can do that. Where's John? <laughs> By accident. Oh, Chandler. Sorry. Hello. What the hell? Something shot me in the ass. It was definitely one of us. <laughs> Doesn't even Did leave the possibility of being an enemy now. Uh, yeah, no, that, that, that was very likely what was. That's a dog. I just shot to oh. the side. Did I shoot myself or did somebody shoot me? I feel like Helldivers has really helped with my uh, friendly fire discipline. <laughs> As in, you want to shoot your friends more or less? Yes, but I've gotten better at not shooting them. That's some, another game we got. Somehow play. we have to incorporate, some developer needs to incorporate friendly fire as a game mechanic. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that would it, be, but I think that would be the next big content game. Like, because right, I was going to say, like, isn't that just regular deathmatch at that point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, th I think he's right. <laughs> well, it's a <laughs> Just trying to think, like, what do you mean, like, kill your friends to boss wave? Well, in the, the the new the game that just dropped, the content warning game, you actually get more points for filming your friends dying. Oh, yeah, because oh. you're getting more of a click rate, I guess. Yep. That's funny. Oh, sorry. These things I think look I like the spermatoil that gave Freddy Krueger his powers. The, the what? What were they called? This the spermatoa. That's what I call them. Oh, spermatoa. Is yeah. that like crocotoa? Yeah, uh, I don't know actually. I got an achievement. Friendly fire. I heard I heard sperm in the toilet, and I was like, Johnny, that is gross. No. Hey, I would you never. Know, <laughs> Unrelated. Don't take a UV light to my bathroom. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's let's do a proper death match. Yeah. Sure. Oh God, UV light. Unless we wanted to do two v two capture the flag. Do we, um, no. nope, would I you guys want to open this up to, uh, more people, or do you want to just do us I'd four? Be... Uh, I'm fine with that. I don't uh, care. I'm totally I'm fine with that. Increase player count. Can I do that from here? Minimum players, yes. Because uh, we, we here, could probably do a combo of different things to give Johnny a good overview of, uh, what this game has to offer, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Lost connection. Um, to yeah, sorry. I it's not letting me up the player count from that menu. I have to. Start oh yeah. Okay. Money. All right. Max players. Death match. Who am I? Right. Oh, it caps out at eight. That's fine. Yeah. It'll just uh, yeah, add it's... randos though, right? Yeah. Randos. Or rather, join. it'll open the server up to anyone who wants to join. Probably more fit for playing this live, but whatever. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it might just... There's got to be people playing Quake know. 1 at this point, right? Someone. Yeah, there are. I've, I've yeah, more done people it are, uh, More people are playing Quake 1 online than Quake 2. No, uh... No railgun for you today. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that might be a good call. Forgetting my alphabet. Where the fuck is the L? You, my friend, are the L. <laughs> you have uh, apparently. The L. Yeah. <laughs> Start the game. Sorry, it's too easy. 
No, it's fine. I... <laughs> Why did it cut off? I... The stop noise button is very tempting for me. I like this, this button as well, yeah. Like, sometimes just cutting off a sound is really funny. Like, sometimes you just hit him with the... The giant... Who's red? Was Who's I supposed red? to do that? Oh, all right, yeah, so we're, we're killing each other, for the record. Uh, we're also killing each other in the game. I need a better gun. I've always loved how Quake dispenses with the idea of a starting pistol, and it's just like, nah, shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> As it should be. I was very happy that Doom Eternal did the same thing. Mm -hmm. But I also have a soft spot for video game pistols. Even if they're weaker, like in Goldeneye, I would just use the pistol for fun a lot. That's fair. There we go, super shotgun. I like how there's... <laughs> sometimes there's just no running animation. You just kind of glide around. I don't know why I jumped into that. <laughs> I heard that. Ooh, lava. There's something very distinct about Trent Reznor's burning alive in lava sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I love had some vocal cords on him at that time. My god. Yeah. He's like inhuman. Was it, was it like age, muscle, or drugs that fucked up his voice, or was it all three? All oh. three. For sure, all three. Yeah, probably. That just happens. I mean, I wouldn't say his voice is fucked up. He's a good singer. Yeah. He can't oh, yeah. scream like he used to, but that's, you know, yeah. that's hard to do as you get older. I can scream. I tried, like, I you're, like, immediate... you're like 19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be very like, you still have the advantage of youth. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, right, you're like right 10 after years off, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right actually after... 9. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to leave immediately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, I can't scream. I've been thinking about, like, legitimately looking into classes of, like, how do I do scream yell without destroy throw at? Yeah. That's a real thing. I mean, I, um, yeah. allow me to talk about my band for a moment. You know, a YouTuber with a band. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I have a lot of earlier songs where I do the scream thing, and I realize now, post-COVID and 38, I'm like, that's not sustainable, and I hate screaming for, like, a lot of time so how do you yeah you have to like retrain your vocal cords there's like technique that you can do it's possible but don't look up axel rose 2024 guns and roses concert just don't look <laughs> that up if you want to see someone like in their late 50s early 60s scream because that's not going to help you at you all sad. i i learned from something recently God damn about it. axel rose something really bad that he did but I don't know the the whole story. I don't know if there's. Hey, you guys, to look it. quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I'm sure there's pl several bad things uh, '80s rock star did uh, who was on drugs and had. Uh yeah. yeah. I'm sure he, he was. Uh, My brother uh, Elliot does a lot of voice acting, like on the side. I was and he's, <laughs> he's I mean, maybe I don't know. I don't ask. Uh, but he does a lot of screaming for both VA and like our Let's Play stuff, and his voice never gets shot. And apparently, like we told me, like he drinks like some sort of honey tea after every. Oh session. yeah, I've heard about that. That's a real thing. It's called throat coat. A uh, coat. Throat coat. <laughs> throat coat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interesting. I have to, to Google search this later. Hey, why do my friends keep calling me the throat goat? I don't like it. So it, it's true. There is throat no, coat. Sir. I don't like it. And it does help. And no. there's other recipes. Uh, here's a little anecdote. Andy Serkis, when he was playing Gollum in the hit Lord of the Rings films, he... Um, I loved his game. Yeah, his game was great. It was his. He made it. He... Um, <laughs> He had this stuff that he would call Gollum juice that he said was like wretched, but it helped him with the voice. And it was like, yeah, it was like honey, lemon. It was like a tea kind of thing, a lot of herbs, and they would just bring him are Gollum you, are juice. You seriously? Yes, I am serious. I need help, no! Bitch. This is a small uh, level. So anyway, Gollum juice? Not Gollum. Ah! Golem Whenever juice is just magma. Voice, I, I just like the way I, I always did it was closing my throat, create like to trap the air. Uh, oh, for the golem voice. Okay, that makes more sense. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
<laughs> it's very doing my accurate. best golem impression. That was very accurate. Yeah, that, you know what? Yeah. I've never seen Lord of the Things. Oh, you so wait a minute. You you only know Radiohead Creep, and you've never seen Lord of the Rings? <laughs> no, no, I, I've, I've seen it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that much of a zoomer. I'm almost 30. Man, okay. Guys, I'm starting to think he really is nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, technically Gen oh, Z, I though, right? I talked about Freddy earlier. I know Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I, I have a wonderful story about that, actually. About um, me? No, no, no. It's about oh, uh, one of my friends. He has a 16-year-old little brother. Oh, he's 17 now. And um, we were talking about how Kurt Cobain's a playable character in Guitar Hero 5. Oh, boy. Which uh -oh. is immediately, like, uh, great. That's that's just a, that's a whole other can of worms, though. Yeah, and that's he a just goes, long story. He goes, wait, wh who's Kurt Cobain? And I'm yeah. just like, oh. well, I mean, to be fair, it is a little understandable. Yeah. But I was, I was like, well, that's you know. And then, and then he draw, hits me with the, is that the guy who sings photograph? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's almost like, was he joking? Nope. <laughs> oh. Well, I thought you were gonna say that he said something like, I know who Kurt Cobain is. That's the guy from Guitar Hero. <laughs> Which, to be that fair, would be great. Would you know that makes some sense? That would just Not that would wrong. really tie that conversation that we had about the game together. <laughs> if he was like, "Oh yeah, the guy from Guitar Hero," but no, no, he fully Original thought Guitar he was Hero Chad Kroger. Yeah. Checkmate, Nickelback fans. Why does Chad Kroger name after supermarket? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, who's hiding in the shadows? I don't like that. Nobody's killed anybody in a while. Oh yeah, let's change Shut that. up. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You so John, the, the meta Ow. is uh... Grenade launcher spam, of course. Yeah. That seems to be that, and when the rocket launcher levels show up, you'll you'll see. Yeah, where the hell's the rocket? There's no rocket launcher on this I might need to or turn lightning down gun. The, the kill limit. Or lightning gun. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump into one of the later levels after this. What's the death limit? Oh, we have two and a half minutes left. I'll turn that down next time. Why am I winning? Liam, come here. Uh, I hate... Why am I targeted, man? I don't get it. Because you're the only one who's colored. Oh, wait. Red. Red. You're what? the only one who's red. Red. No, 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 no. That, that's ridiculous. Oh, I forgot to set my character to a different color. I think I'm just yellow. Yeah, all of us are just. Yeah. Why did I spawn between two people? Maybe I'm. Oh wait, no, I think I'm blue. Oof. Vine sauce ate Liam's totally pineapple. Playing. Was it good? It sounds uh, vaguely gun sexual. Not clickbait. No. Oh. Wait. When I'm click a freak. <laughs> no. No, you're not a. That's a no creep, not freak. <laughs> Oh, I'm a freak. Radiohead I'm Freak a is a freak. very different song. I'm a freak. They also made the song Creep on a Leash. That's a good one. Oh. I'm making that up. That was a lie. I, you don't I was know corn, do you? you don't, have you ever heard of... Uh, oh. Yep, you know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, uh, I was uh, a passers-by in the new metal scene. <laughs> I've just I've been listening to the Cure. Oh I'm yeah, okay, me, I'm, me too. I promise. I listen <laughs> to the Cure quite a bit these days. I've been getting into them more. No, no, yeah, it's. There's it there's is. pop in there too. There's catchy songs. Yeah. They're not just like depressing. You know that's what I'm saying is. Oh, oh nice. Oh, it was twenty. Uh, that's what I'm saying is like, it's not just you know, draw the shades close and blast the cure it's it's uh there's some good catchy stuff just like heaven is a banger yeah and uh and photograph and, <laughs> and photograph yeah all right they i'm also, just gonna uh, drop us into the last one because i'm assuming that'll probably have lightning guns and shit oh what map is it that i like with the lava pool in the middle not probably this not this one. One. this one's good it's a bit spacious for four players, but it's fine. Oh, we got the the Lord of Ring Ring in this level. Yeah. John, the um, do you know the lore between Quake 1 and 2? Like how different the two games are? I do not. Well, you see how this is all like 
language. Like, there's different tones in this game, but it kind of has this, like, kind of gothic Lovecraftian feel. Yeah. Quake 2 was originally a different game entirely, and then they kind of retooled it to be Quake 2, and it's just Space Marine. Yeah. It's yeah. just pure Space Marine shit. And yeah, because I was going to say, it's like... Yeah. It, re it really does, like, elicit a, a Halo vibe pre-Halo. Like, this is years, years before the first game. Yeah. Yeah. This gun looks like a nose. Yeah, if you were to see this in Quake 2 side to side, you probably wouldn't even assume it's part of the same series, which it yeah. wasn't initially. It w yeah, and like the Space Marine thing at the time was still novel. It wasn't like as overdone as it became. So it was still a beloved game, but when you play, if you play through Quake 1 at any point, you know, you go through like slip gates and like warps. And so you go to different like time yeah. zones and different areas. It's kind of cool. But for me, the stuff I like the best are the weird gothic castles. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Quake 2 just uh, sadly doesn't have any of that. I was kind I of like Quake 2. I, I really... I think for a single player experience, I do prefer Quake 2. Um, so wait, but, but the, the version of the... So this is the first Quake we're playing. Yeah. Uh, this is is this like a re-release? Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. Night Dive they, they just made it remaster. so that the, the base game of Quake, if you owned it, you just got the remaster for free. Okay, so it was like what Doom did, basically. Well, they yeah, did yeah, for Doom, exactly. essentially. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, the original uh, Quake 2 was called War, but it was spelled W-O-R, because that's cool. Yeah. And then they were like, for as old, as old as the game is, I'm really enjoying oh, like how smooth this remaster plays. Oh, they oh, yeah. Night Dive killed yeah. it. If you like this too, uh, Quake 2 is actually really good. Like, it's, a, it's fucking really fun, great weapons. But, like, it's as smooth, if not smoother. Like, Night Dive yeah. kills it with their remasters. They're so oh, good. Oh, damn it. Oh, rocket launcher. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> I, they, they I get this... shot and respawn on a frame later. It was very, <laughs> really weird about that. They, uh, they remastered Quake 2 in the same vein, except they, like, tweaked, nice, nice, they tweaked it a bit by, uh, I want to say they made the game play faster. Yeah, they, they, um, there's a couple gameplay tweaks. There is quality of life. There was, um, they added muzzle flash to the pistol, which was my biggest complaint. <laughs> yeah. It and the machine gun just had no muzzle flash. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I have 55 rockets. It's time. Well, time to lose to Liam. Not with that attitude. Ow! And I, oh! <laughs> <laughs> There was no way I was making it out of that. I, if I shot, we both would have died, so... I took my chances. Somehow I survived. Uh, though, John, um, I think I messaged you about this, but uh, if you if you need footage of Doom and Doom Eternal's multiplayer mode... Hit yeah, I was going to approach you about that later. Um, Doom Eternal has a really unique multiplayer mode. Wait, what's pretty divisive? What's the multiplayer in that? I don't think I ever did it. It's a it's a two v one. One player plays as the Doom Slayer. The two people plays. Uh, oh boss right, I, rem I remember hearing about that. Yeah. I think it's kind of fun, but it, it overstays its welcome pretty quick. Doom 2016's multiplayer was like a deathmatchy Call of Duty. Yeah, like, yeah. Unlocking shit as you go. Yeah, it was it was okay. I liked it. It definitely wasn't bad. I, and also, it had a pretty good Switch port, Doom 2016. Surprisingly, yeah. I played a bunch of uh, multiplayer on the Switch version and got to like level like 25 or something. And, I, and you know what? With the gyro, it, it played really well. Yeah, I like that port a lot. It did run at 540p, but... Yeah, it, it wasn't the best. It was, it was Vaseline uh, smeared. Definitely playable. Good for, yeah, I mean, that was before Steam Deck, so for me, having that Ooh. portable yeah, exactly. was, was quite nice. Your Honor, I may have found the suck tube. Wow! John, what's your favorite first-person shooter? Oof. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if I can pick one. How about, Put like, a series? Spot. A series. Yeah. Oh... Uh, yeah. Or, like, even just the first one that comes to your head when you think favorite. Oh, fucking... I don't know. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a. I think I just poked up the one ring. Yep. Get his ass. I mean, so in my earliest FPS days, because I guess to give context, was Counter Strike. Oh, like yeah. On hell PC. yeah. Um, I didn't play much of it, uh, uh, but I, I did oh, get okay. bullied a lot. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, on those. Write a passage on that game. In those games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, afterwards, it was time splitters, and then starting like, in the mid aughts, that's when I was introduced to Call of Duty. I, me and my brother Mark played a lot of Modern Warfare 2. Uh, yeah, this specifically. Is... Yeah, it was great. Modern... Which one? Yeah. Zombie mode? Uh, no, just the second Modern Warfare. Uh, we did play uh, Zombies in World at War. That was the first game to introduce it, I think. Yeah, it was. Uh, but by the time I... of by the time of Black Ops. Uh, we kind of just fell off the series and like believe it or not like like I did a video on doom last year That was legit my first time ever playing those games Did you like them? Yeah, I, I did enjoy f for the most part most of what I played. Yeah I, 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 I wasn't big on doom 2 and I thought um, Well, I don't count final doom because final doom is not for me. Yeah <laughs> Oh, final um, doom. Yeah, that's a, that's a but I really game. liked uh, doom 64 Love Doom 64. Yes. That's Doom my 64. favorite. Doom. I love that game. Yeah. Does that game have multiplayer with this? My title? I don't no, know. Probably doesn't. I don't think I it don't has. Think it no. Yeah, but the, it's a good uh, remaster and just great That's atmosphere fair. and yeah. like, love that game. And had it, it, despite it being called Doom 3, I thought Doom 3 was okay. It was just yeah. you know, it's clearly not a Doom game. Yeah. Right. It's okay. I like the original Doom 3 more than BFG because you have to actually switch to your flashlight. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's something you can't have your weapon out at the same that. time, which f feels scary. Like it, it's not a bad game at all. It's just the, the they were kind of doing a different thing with it. They were, I, you know, I'm not gonna say it was a trend chaser because it kind of also started some trends, but it was cool yeah. that they tried something different. But I always kind of think Doom 64 feels like Doom 3 to me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, someone picked up the quad damage. Ow! I played the zombies mode on Call of Duty more than any of the actual game. I, yeah, well, I, I, I think that was like, like yeah, that seems to be the consensus for that. Yeah. I, I was obsessed <laughs> with the, the zombies mode. Trying to perform as well as possible on like every map. Honestly, the one game that I was really enjoying before Blizzard fucked everything up was Overwatch. Oh, yeah. yeah that's... Uh, that's a whole. Thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I mean, there. I, you don't even know where to begin with that kind yeah, of story. But it, it's yeah. also like, damn, man. Like, I really enjoyed the first Overwatch, yeah. uh, and then everything yeah. happened. It's like, I, nope. Man. It, hey, it, can it, you guess who has never played this before? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have what ten minutes. Do we um, do I've got another more game? half hour. Like, I could do another okay. like two. Uh, I. I have to get going in about 10 minutes, so... Okay, uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do one. more. Yeah. If you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, Liam, what was the map you liked? Um, I gotta, I have to see the name. Alright, um, there's Abandoned Base. <laughs> Quake Deathmatch Maps. I'm trying to remember the name off the top of my this head. This one's a I huge word. Claustrophobiopolis. Oh, okay. It's, it's not, it's not a deathmatch map. It's the final episode of... Episode, or it's the final mission of episode one, the boss fight room. Okay. That shit rocked. I yeah. love that map. Uh, it's a good one. Vertigo. It's like E1M, the, the E1 last M8. one. Yeah. Unless it counts E1M9. I don't think it does. All right. Sure, we'll try that. Also, since we're talking about stuff like... Um, this is not the map. This is a secret mission where you have anti gravity. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah, low grab. Wait, look I at the look at the E1 fucking M9. thing on the on the crucified Christ on the wall. Crucified Christ. No, oh my Christ. And he has health. Thank you, Jesus. Is it all the Jesus I G Jesus I or is it just the uh, <laughs> Jesus, Leave Jesus alone? Is it or is it just <laughs> yeah, the one, plural, one of the Jesus Jesus I? <laughs> Uh, there, there is a Jesus in uh, one of the Quake One expansions where if you shoot it, he just blasts you with lightning bolts. Okay, I'm now on the other side of the map, not near you guys at all, just exploring. Sometimes you find yourself between a rock and a. Ow! I just died. 
What would Jesus I do? Wait, <laughs> it's just the? like a committee of Jesus's. Jesus's. <laughs> Isn't that what Jesus they're doing for the next Heidi. Avengers movie? Yeah, the the Christ Initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The passion of the Jedi. Uh, the the whole time splitters thing I wanted oh. to mention though, like that's another depressing thing because I love time splitters two and Future Perfect so much, mm. and even the first one I played, and then like. They tried to turn it into a Fortnite clone oh, before the company that. got shut down. That's like, <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, that's that. the that's that that's what's happening yeah. with a lot of games now. Like, it, it, it's a, not it's not even just the FPS, but the looter shooter. Yep. Uh, so everything's it's trying to be Fortnite. A leaked video of Time Splitters Four, or maybe it was like officially posted. I don't know. And it it looks like Fortnite. I saw it and I thought it was Fortnite. Yeah, it's it's Fortnite, except they called it Time Splitters. That's how you know. It was like even third person. Yeah. Oh, air strafing this map is so much fun. Oh yeah, John, if you're in the air, hold left or right, nothing else, just left or right, and then turn in that direction, and you could just spin in the air. It's yeah, it's yeah, like Counter-Strike Surf. Except I learned fun. about this first in Team Fortress 2 of all games. Yeah, no, that's a great place to learn it, actually. There are maps just for that, so you can get better at rocket yep. jumping and stuff. Team Fortress and Classic. And like surfing explosives with Medic. That's another thing. So, yeah, I did some of the surf maps. I like oh. those. Um, I, I was terrible at them, but I was pretty good at conk maps in TFC. Does that ring a bell conk. for anyone? It sounds familiar. What it's, are you doing? Yeah, them? there's something very familiar about it. In TFC, the Scout and the Medic had concussion grenades. They would oh. slightly disorient, but they would also propel you like a very far distance. So there's this whole map subgenre of just people throwing concussion grenades at the ground near them and like letting them explode in the air just before they would turn around. It's hard to explain. But yeah, it was basically surfing for conch jumping. Huh. A useless I, uh, skill. I, I missed out on a lot of uh, Team Fortress Classic. I didn't quite get into PC gaming yet. Um. I think but I tried I've, to mess around on it, but it was too much for my young brain. I've gone back to it after the fact, and I, if I was able to find a couple of matches, which I think only happened like twice, um, it was actually kind of fun. I'd, I I'd, would be down to go back and like try to learn how to play it, because that game had a community for a long time. It still does, I think. It still does. There's a community. Yeah, I mean, can, there's even Half-Life 2 mods like Fortress Forever that recreate it like, kind of faithfully. Oh, yeah. But, um, that's news to me. If ever you want to do a series where Vinny teach Babby Team Fortress Classic, I'm totally down. I'll just get Dude, like, I would love that. a group Vinny, of like yes, seven please. people that never played it and me. And I would we'll just, love that. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, here's what I used. Here's my old haunts from back in 1999. Take us to two forts. All right, kiddies, yeah. here's how you do a conch. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pronounced conch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, the magic conch show. The magic conch from SpongeBob. That's what I think. You, of here. Exactly that. Yeah, I remember I was in the Bahamas years and years ago. I, I would call them like conch, and they were like, "No, it's conch." I'm like, "That's a funny word." <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced conch. Well, we'll see what the conch has to say about that. <laughs> no, I've never, I've never been out of the United States. I think I'd be shot by the magic conch show. <laughs> it's just rocking a piece. You should I, come to Canada. There's plenty to do here, but conventions don't seem to agree. The only place I've really <laughs> visited outside of, like, visiting friends is New York. And it was all the touristy shit, so I didn't really have the best time. What Name, uh, as a New Yorker, I, I need to know what touristy things did you do? Uh, we went to Times Square and I got scammed. <laughs> yeah, you you would, Trev. Uh, what, did, what, what scam was it? The monkey scam? The CD scam? I was still in high school at the time. Oh, um, Alright, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's funny as shit. Um, no, it was like Spider Man. Cause I, huh? Was it Spider Man? No, it it was just a guy that was like, "Hey, any spare change?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I got change." Whoever this is. All right, um, well, that's just called a homeless dude, I think. No, he seemed very well off. I oh. Can't kill you with um, like here, look, I've I've been homeless before. I can't judge, but like, um. Yeah, maybe that's why. I'm like, yeah, I'll give him a couple bucks. What's up? Right. Dude, why am I, uh, why and then am my so teacher pulled me aside games? and was like, don't give people money. 
they were right though. That's the thing about New York City. Yeah, and there's a lot of scummy, How like smelly Spider-Man and Elmos. So avoid them. Avoid the yeah, people that I, want you to buy a CD. Avoid people that the, drop something near you. I went to the the part in Times Square oh, that they filmed oh, Amazing no, Spider-Man Two no, on because <laughs> they they notoriously never filmed any other movie there. Um, and it was uh, this is fun. I'm like bouncing. It's an experience. Oh, now I'm dying. My pentagram of protection right now. Oh, that's why you weren't dying. Yeah, I just wanted to go for a ride. Like Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Oh. Yeah, infamously, they never programmed any other game in New York City. Yeah. I, I legitimately don't... Like, we walked around... Oh my god, I can't even remember the name of it. The big park near, near Manhattan. Well, Central it's park? Central Park, yeah. Central Park, duh. Yeah. Jesus. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we walked around that. We got a... I, I got a pizza with absurd amounts of like pepperoni on it it was awesome you, you are new, new yorker now trev oh what sweet. is vinnie what's the best new york pizza place number one the, you, this we don't have enough time in this video <laughs> <laughs> there's so many there's so many but i'll tell you what uh, my my go-to is always john's on bleaker street john's is like a famous classic place and they have oh. the best I think best classic New York slice, and you can't get a slice there. You have to get like a whole pie. So you you, you want to bring a friend. Yeah. And then there's places you can get a slice that are good, and then there's places that have weird specialty. There's one that fucks up a slice with pepperoni, which sounds like something Ooh, Trav probably had. I love pepperoni. So yeah, a lot of good places. I, I I've been to New York once, um, but I was 14, so I, I, I just yeah, Sam. I, I think I was literally the same age. Yeah. Um. All Johnny, right, Vinny, here you, you you like you like pizza for yeah. uh, reasons. Um, will will I be shot if I admit that I like olives on my pizza? <laughs> no, I like olives on my pizza. <laughs> black or green? I like black olives. Okay, same. I've tried green olives on my pizza. It's all right. The, the flavor, like they're too vinegar. -y. That's what I like gotta... to call flavor dissonance. Mm, it's okay. it's I good, like but like you, you know you got to be in the mood for that kind of thing. It's like drastically altering the pizza chemistry. Yeah. Overpower. I'm glad you just said yeah, like you know what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I could have just made that whole thing up. <laughs> no, like, you have green olives on a pizza. That shit. Uh, stop shooting me with my cock oh, rocket. No. I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, anyways, no, I mean like sometimes I just soak my pizza in vinegar and I go, there's too much vinegar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a vinegar pizza. pizza. Yo, who put this vinegar in my <laughs> yeah. pizza? I want to this vinegar. I'm like, I didn't do this. <laughs> do you fold your pizza when you're eating it? I think my game just crashed. Depends. Oh. Yes, the I, weirdest I, fold, pizza I, I think that's, the, the, I think that's the weirdest what pizza, you fold your pizza. The weirdest pizza experience I ever had is when I was visiting a friend when my first year of college, and we were eating dinner at their family's house, and they ordered pizza for everyone. We had pizza at the dining room table, which was already like kind of weird because, like, I don't, I don't think this is something you share at a dinner table with. It's just pizza. Yeah. But I was singled out specifically by my friend's dad. I was like, "Look how he's eating the pizza. That's how they eat it in the East." I was like, why did you say that out loud? Also, what the <laughs> fuck? Am I like in the Am east? I like put to in study? Yeah, like, like you said in the east. It's like this is West PA. We're still in the east. <laughs> <laughs> in oh, the okay. East. I thought that meant like West the, America. The no. East. Well, when he says in the east, I'm like, I'm thinking Asia. Uh, well, yeah. Sorry, Vinny. <laughs> uh, the match was basically over anyway, so it's okay. not like you missed out. Yeah, we have two seconds left. There's Somebody just a dead ass exit sign here. Can I leave? It will actually if you go in there, you die. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, I, <laughs> I did that right after I was taunting Vinny about how he can't kill me, and then I died by walking into the portal. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. I actually uh, really like that. Well, the, yeah, the anti gravity, uh, know I know that was the wrong it. one, but it was still fun because it's anti gravity. I would say that, um, that was, yeah, I like that too. I, I feel like Quake 1, some of these maps work better with eight people, and oh, it, yeah, it's just sure. like more chaotic, but. It's a really, I mean, there's a reason people would, like, buy these massively expensive T1 connections in the late uh, to, and mid-90s to play Quake with their friends. It's just oh, yeah. very, very addictive gaming. But glad you liked it, John. Yeah, I think I'm going to tweet about it. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yeah, if you, uh, if you ever end up playing this, what an player, endorsement. 
Well, hey, what at did some we point, do about this? I would Muscle recommend the single. Pain? And also, Quake 2, if you like this, it's worth just to see what it's like. They did such a killer job with the remaster, and the multiplayer in Quake 2 is equally, if not even betterly good. That's good to hear, at least. Yeah. My sub pump just went off. What do you Arks. see, boy? Are you getting a ton of rain, too, right now, John? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of rain. Yeah, I'm getting, like, yeah, it's, it's gross out, yeah. Well, I guess that's it, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks like uh, it. Okay, actually, I, you, awesome. as soon as you say that, I just got the fucking DM from my friend. Uh, I have to get going. All right, see ya. Um, right. But it, it was fun, guys. I'll yeah, talk to you later. later Johnny. See ya. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, guys. Later, dude. You too. All right, well, I guess I should say for my video, um, this is a short one because we were going to play Metroid Prime Federation Force. I cannot find my 3DS. And then we tried Monkey Ball, and Liam had to restart it his computer and it turned into a nightmare so we just played quake uh but it you know it was fun i enjoyed it quake already was like it was having issues Clancy. when i was trying to they told me i didn't have an internet connection so i just restarted my computer and finally we had a game and i we were it was almost like wait maybe monkey ball works and then, no no i mean it probably might <laughs> just you know probably already had quake open I think I'm good. Technology hates me today. Yeah. That's fine. Well, I enjoyed it. Thanks for inviting me. And I hope um, whatever your Federation Force plans are, they work out. I have a 3DS to find at some point in my near future. And, uh, you know, let's, let's hope I find it. Because my in entire giant Tamadachi thing oh, is yeah. all, you know, the on that. to history. Yeah. So... Anyway, thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. And Liam, Trav, uh, have a good day. Yeah, of course. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, and that's it. So um, that was Trav, guys. Some call me Johnny and Liam Triforce. Short video today, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless, even if it's just for a brief pizza discussion. So uh, see ya.